Hello everyone and welcome back to Stropper and on Someone. Today we're doing another Minecraft video, but today we're checking out something a little bit different. We're not doing survival, we're not doing building. Today we are checking out the new the biggest things that were added in the 1.17 update. I'm going to skip a few features because if I didn't, this this video would be three hours long because they added a lot of stuffs. Even though it's only part one. Anyway, so if you're not familiar with the 1.17 update, this is the this is part one of the caves and cliffs. They had to split in two if you're not aware. Because of technical challenges and all that. So today we are checking out in my server. Feel free to join me by the way. You have to friend me though. I don't know why. I can't just fully open it up. Can't figure out how. If you can, then tell me, please. So what are the biggest changes in the 1.17 update? It added all of this. There is cobbled deep slate wall, deep slate tile wall, polished deep slate wall, deep slate brick wall, cobbled deep slate stairs, so on and so on, and the new ore textures. Deep slate, gold, diamond, lapis, all that. So yeah they added new ore textures so we're going to take a look at this i put this npc spawn egg so now they have these new items called raw ore iron ore gold ore diamond ore lapis redstone coal emerald they didn't and they added a new ore called copper if you're not familiar with it We'll get to the uses of copper. So let's take a look at all these. Oops. The reason these changes were made is because they wanted to make this more friendly to colorblind people. So yeah. And I can see how it would help. Now, let's move on to the uses of copper. We're gonna move on to the spyglass. If you did not watch Minecraft Live from this year, then you probably don't know what it is. You're like, Straw, how could there possibly be a spyglass in Minecraft? The way you're seeing it right now. When you right click on it, right, like this. So what you do, so you aim it towards wherever you want to sit and do, look closer, say this bamboo stalk, and then you hold down right click, and it makes a little sound and you are able to see things that are very far away. For example, let's say I wanted to see this, this security guard. Can. It is crafted with some copper ingots and amethyst. Amethyst is a bunch of new blocks, but my favorite is the budding amethyst because it can make amethyst clusters make very nice sounds. Tell me, also down in the comments below, you have to tell me what your favorite addition to the 1.17 update is. They also added, um, I'm trying to get all this together, and it's very hard. They added the, they added glow berries, glow ink sacks, glow squids, and glow lichen, and glow item frames. So let's go through these. Glow berries are the source. Glow ink sacks are used to make signed glow. So, sign. Let's just grab a warped one. You need to have to, you need to dye it first. Oops. So let's just grab white, bright blue. can see that it's glowing. Very nice. Glow berries are a food source. They're the same as sweet berries, all that. It's pretty nice. Glow squids. Let me take off my frostwalker boots. Glow squids are a brand new mob that were introduced in 1.17. This is what they look like. When you punch them, they emit a glowing particle and stop glowing for a few minutes. Seconds happening. Personally, I would have 
voted for the ice isolager, but I do not have a Twitter account. I mean, that's just my opinion. Feel free to tell me what you would have voted for in the comments below. Glow Lichen is a brand new light source. The interesting thing is that it can actually be placed in the same block. Like this. See? Have you seen something like this before? Nope. No, you haven't. Nothing like this has ever been in Minecraft before. So how could you have it? Anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. The glow item frame, when you put an item in it, the, you can more clearly see the item. I'm sorry if I don't showcase everything, or if this video is a little shorter, because there's literally no way I can get all of this in one video without, you know, it being 12 hours long. There we go, perfect. They also added a brand new mob called the Axolotl. It's so cute. Oopsie. It's okay, little fella. Yeah, they have a bunch of different textures, one of which is cute, which is quite rare. Yeah. So here are all the raw here are all the new raw variants. They have raw iron, raw gold, and raw copper. Pretty nice, right? They did not add any they did not like add raw diamonds. You don't have to smelt your diamonds now. They also add a block of raw iron, block of raw copper, and block of raw gold. And can everybody please stop the memes saying these look like beans? Yes, they look like beans. I know it. Everybody knows it. Can we please stop? I mean, enough's enough. Please, make it end. We need new memes. Also, we have a new texture for the clock, which got a new texture revamp. Pretty nice. I think. But feel free to let me know your opinion. Let's take a look. Ah! Hmm. Let's get over here. Ah, Azalea. I forgot what they, are, what they were called. Whoops. We have flowering, we have Azaleas, flowering Azaleas, Azalea leaves, flowering Azalea leaves. We also have drip leaves, small drip leaves, dripstone blocks, pointed dripstone. Look, I, there's literally no way I can get all of this in one video, so I'm just going to cover what I think is most important. important. Oh look, a friend joined the game. Nice. Anyway, drip leaves, if you didn't know, are, when you stand on them, they slowly fall down. Yes, I'm making a video. Whoops. A video. Now, say hi. Also, if you want a chance to be in a video, then you have to join me. Slash TP at self. Match your games. So, here we 
we go. Drip, dripstone, as you can see, as you just saw, are when you destroy the block that they're on, they are, they fall down and deal damage. Sorry for the interruption. It's okay. Much advantage if you're watching this. Um, it's okay. You're fine. It's good. Okay. Ah, so that's what it's called. A spore blossom. I'm sorry about that. Spore blossoms are able to hang upside down. And they emit lovely green particles. See? It's more apparent in cave, but you can see them right here. Similar to the particles that were in the nether. Last update. Also, all the copper. Let's take a look at copper. There, there's a lot. So, there's cut copper stairs, exposed cut copper stairs, weathered cut copper stairs, oxidized cut copper stairs, wax cut copper stairs. Okay, so there's wax variants of all this. Block of copper, exposed copper, weathered copper, oxidized copper, and then it just goes over. Goes over there. So we have raw copper and copper. We also have deep slate copper or block of raw copper, all that. Everything you can possibly need. But my favorite the goats. Love goats. Ah, ah. Help me name them, please. Like, I seriously need help. I have no idea what to name these. I literally have to build an entire enclosure just to keep them in here. And also, I built this little enclosure here. But yeah, goats are my favorite mob. So we're going to take a look at the goats. As you can see, this is them. When you punch them, they make this sound, or something like it. They do not like it. Goat horns have not been added yet. For now, the goats drop mutton, which is, which fun fact, is actually what a lot of people call goat meat. I also love goat meat, just so you know. Sorry about this. I have problems. Okay, so, we have all the copper stairs. Now, you may be asking, what can you do with all this? Everything. All of these new blocks have infinite possibilities to create with. So, look at this. I created stairs with that. I created entire paths that go all the way around my house and back with deep slate. I created tons of things with the new 1.17 blocks, and so can you. Let me check how long this video is. Okay, I wanted to just be a, this to be a little bit of a shorter video, so I just want you. To, so as a final note, I just wanted you all to know that if you can be creative enough to create something of your own with the new blocks, then you can do anything. You can create whatever you want, and in Minecraft, there it's a game of infinite wonder and endless possibilities. Thank you for watching. This has been Stropper Number One Someone. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. Comment down below what you think I should do next. Hit the bell for notifications so you never miss out on another video. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care and bye for now. Hope you have a good day. Goodbye.